So here we are with Evernote and one of the things that has quite drastically changed with Evernote is that they're putting more time and attention into tasks and events which are making Evernote more like a planner type experience. Let me show you around what the new abilities do when it comes to the calendar and maybe I guess some thoughts on what that could mean for the future of using Evernote. So you may have noticed if you have the latest version of Evernote installed, there are note, task and event that are now quick access on the left hand side, which is really a definitive explanation of where they're heading in terms of not just about notes, but about tasks and events. And more recently, they've put in some time and effort into redesigning the task area to be a bit more like a task management application, not just a little side widget and having a whole segment where you can narrow down your tasks for the day and what part of the notebook they're associated for, as well as seeing the today area. Now, you may have noticed that Calendar has got some upgrades too. You can add an event that's part of your Evernote calendar, which means that it doesn't necessarily have to be part of a Google Calendar. You can connect a Google or an Outlook, but largely creating an event is quite easy. Here's an example one. If I just put Scrum App Marketing, which I need to do this afternoon maybe, uh, then what I can do is uh, put in an hour event in the afternoon. And you can see now this allows me to create a note as part of the event, but it lives inside of Evernote and doesn't sync with your Google Calendar. Obviously, that's what the state of it is right now. But now more recently, you can also add a task in to your calendar. So as you can see, here's one I created earlier. If I delete this task and I go up to the top right here, then I could add another task. In this case, what I might say is create video and put today and maybe put a time of 2 p.m. or maybe 4 p.m., 5 p.m. just to demonstrate the complexities of the calendar. If I press add and I add a few other little attributes to it like assignee, well, actually I don't need that because it's just me and I flag it and I press create, you can see that this now appears as a task in my list. If I click into it, I can see the details of it now, if I didn't put a specific time to this, it wouldn't come up in this day view. There is a schedule view here, so you can see like all of the events that happened. This is one of my Google Calendar ones, this is an Evernote Calendar one, and this is a task that I've got to do. So if I were to remove the due time, I'm just gonna check whether it does come up. It does not come up, but it will appear in my task area. If I go over to the due area and I press uh, today and add time, Obviously now it's going to be back into my calendar area. Now, obviously this is an interesting um, experience in general. You can see that there is a new calendar view for week, which allows you to see stuff. You can't move stuff about right now, which is one of the downfalls to it, obviously. But I can imagine that's probably on the cards as well as moving this left-hand bar out of the way. Now you can get an idea that Evernote are on a sort of aim here to try and make this a little bit more, uh, I guess, planner-like. And this is actually an opportunity that it could quite easily put into a tent contention. There's also quick events up here, which is just what I showed you earlier. But largely, it's very interesting to see that you can tick things off uh, right next to each other inside of the calendar. So let's keep an eye on Evernote Planner and see how it evolves in the future. It's weird to say that there are tasks and events inside of Evernote right now.